What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So yesterday I released a video um, talking about my exit plan and typically those videos get a decent amount of views because people wanna know, you know, what would be your exit strategy? When do you decide to get out of a position? And there's not 100% honesty with those exit strategies because a lot of times, you know, you have a short-term play within a long-term play. If you're going to take profit throughout most likely you're tempted to put money back in at certain lows as long as you play it the right way. However, people make a lot of mistakes on putting money in there too early or putting too much money back into the project because they wanna get back to what they had before. So I wanted to kind of establish something and show you guys what my exit plan would be. And this would be my final exit plan for uh, Jasmine Coin because it just it just makes sense when I have uh, 1 million, where I hit my goal of 1 million Jasmine coin, as well as I have everything broken down exactly where I wanna see it at. Now, the only thing that would probably bring up something new is if we have some brand new news that shows a even higher price than it can get to, or uh, maybe it couldn't get to the prices that I believe it should get to. But even if, it still should be a big part of my plan to kind of work the way that it is. Because if it does only show that it's going to get to, let's say a dollar of a, a peak price, and that would be a $50 billion market cap or whatever it will be depending on what the supply is. If it only gets to a dollar, well that means that my entire exit plan strategy plan is uh, completely adjusted, being that it's not gonna get to these higher levels, so I most likely take a bunch of profit at or below a dollar. And then you have some that's left over just in case something comes up in the next 10 years. So maybe 50,000 and maybe 100,000. But this is kind of breaking down my entire plan for Jasmine Coin, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Now, this spreadsheet itself will not be available on Patreon. But if you guys want an adjusted version of that, the original version of it, I do have it over on Patreon where you guys can access that and also use it for other investments that you do have. I feel like it's very valuable for people to take profit and have a plan before they start taking profit. So guys, if you could, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Now, just to give you an update on Jasmine Coin, because I'm not going to be going over Jasmine Coin um, again in detail. Uh, Jasmine Coin is currently sitting at about 37% of a penny. It hasn't really changed too much from yesterday. You are seeing um, $184 million market cap, as well as seeing the volume down 54% at about 13 or $14 um, million. The volume to market cap ratio is showing that popularity has kind of um, you know decreased because of the fact that we're not seeing as much volume um, into it. And also it's not the most positive time in the crypto market. Still things are pretty flat. But Jasmine has been outperforming a lot of things in the market for the last couple of days. So it's good to see the movement for this position. Now, I'm very, very bullish on Jasmine coin. You could see right above my head, uh, I'm bullish on Jasmine coin. I'm sleepless for Jasmine. Um, yeah, a bunch of people that are bullish on Jasmine understand the, um, the growth that it could have. Now, as you understand the growth, you also need to understand what your overall plan will be. Now, this is kind of an adjusted plan. I will explain exactly what's going on here and what I decided to do. Um, but anytime you have an investment, right, you're looking for the right time to take profit. And some people, they take profit too late. Some people take profit too early. And some people take too much profit, profit versus taking too little profit. There's just a, a level to this, right? And I understand that you're never gonna get things 100% right. And this is why you have to establish a plan because if you establish that plan, you're meeting your goal and you're comfortable with where you are because you know you decided this way before it even hit that price. So like I said, currently it's standing at about 37% uh, cent of a penny and that's worth about $3,700. Now my cost basis is $4,000. Um, I, or not cost basis, but I put in $4,000 at a level of, um, you know, 40% of a penny. Um, so I have 1 million coins, right? So um, this currently with my 1 million coins is again worth about 3,700. Now the first place that I'm gonna take profit is one cent. One cent is about double the price, almost triple the price. That's gonna get me up to a, a value of 
um, you know, $10,000 at which I'm going to take 3000 of that, which you're probably thinking that's a significant amount, right? You're taking $3,000. That's not even your initial investment. Why are you taking $3,000? Well, um, certain places, certain places that it gets to, um, really shows retracements in, in my opinion, as I see certain levels, I'm going to predict where that retracement will be. If the retracement is a lot further than that, then, oh, well, that's fine. I'll still go with my original plan and not reinvest any money until we get to the next level. Right. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll take 300,000 coins out of the 1 million coins, which again is 30% of my overall, um, you know, amount that I have. <clears throat> that will give me $3,000 of realized game. Now at that same time, as we do see the price, you know, come down, um, I believe it's going to come down to a level of about 75% um, of a penny, if not 70% of a penny. Once it does hit that penny level, you're going to see it retrace a little bit back down to kind of previous highs um, and maybe be somewhere around that 75 to 65% uh, percent of a penny level. Now, as it gets to that point, I'm going to take $1,000 of that 3000 and reinvest it. I'm going to put $1,000 in there, which will get me about $133,000, um, um, which will leave my final gains at $2,000 there. Now, at that point, I'll have instead of 733 or instead of $700,000, um, I'm going to have 833000 so that gives me more room to take profit as time goes on. Now, when it does find a way to get to uh, 10 cents, that's where I will take 100,000, um, which will leave me with about um, uh, 700. Um, it will leave me about 777. Now, at that 100,000 level, I will also take some of that profit and reinvest it. I feel like it's a low enough level to do that. So I'm going to reinvest it. And that'll get me about 42,000 at which that will be added to the overall amount. My final uh, gains, overall gains for that period of time will be $9,000 over my cost basis, perfectly happy with it. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is to have kind of quicker gains as well as being able to put more money back in there. Um, then we see it grow up to about 50 cents and that's where I will take uh, about 100,000 again. And by this time, um, I believe it was before by this time I had about 600,000, maybe even less than that, um, at that level. So if I have less than 600,000, then it right now, I'm still winning out of the deal. I'm able to have more, um, more coins in the end. So again, a hundred thousand, uh, coins at 50, 50 cents. Um, that's going to be $50,000, uh, total. I will take about 5,000 of it. And, you know, 45,000 will be my net. I'll put 5,000 back in here, which will be 14,000 that's added to it, 14,000 coins. Um, and I think around that time, it will be close to the last. The last one that I will make a reinvestment on would be a dollar. I would not reinvest anything over that level because it does not make sense to keep, you know, reinvesting um, at certain levels, even though you still believe that it could go a lot further, it's just going to uh, be a, a slower and slower um, amount that you are gaining. But throughout time, as I'm still holding a total of 500,000, I can take uh, comfortably take 100,000, comfortably take 100,000 here, comfortably take 100,000 there. And as we're within those ranges of a dollar to two dollars or two dollars to four dollars or, or four dollars to, to ten dollars or whatever, right? As we're within those ranges, I can find places to take profit, um, to throw it into different investments because I have the the room to do so and I'll be reinvesting money. So at that time, I'll take another 10,000, um, reinvest uh, 10,000, which will get me about 10,000 coins. Um, 90,000 will be my net profit, and that will be the last time that I'm doing that, you know, reinvesting and, and adding to, you know, whatever my overall cost basis was. Um, but as you see going forward, it's just gonna take whatever you do have there. So whether it's 150,000 or 200,000 or 400,000, 500,000, uh, netting me about 6.4 uh, million, which is a little bit less from what you see here is a little bit less than what you have there. Um, but the reason why it's a little bit less is because I still have a lot that's left over here. Now it's, I'm taking, um, it at lower levels when I am taking um, some profit and reinvesting it back in there, I'm taking it at lower levels. Um, either way, my initial investment is secured. Um, a lot of the, the gains are secured as well. 
and it may be even more of an aggressive process, but this is probably the level that I am going to take. At, at this point, this is what it looks like. Um, this is my final plan that I'm gonna show to you guys, but it doesn't mean that some of these numbers might not be adjusted or might be adjusted or might not um, to, instead of being at 100,000 and adding in 10,000, I could have 100,000 and adding in 50,000. Or having this level and adding in um, ten or twenty thousand, leaving myself thirty thousand overall. That would probably be the the better bet. But either way, it's about finding the best place to reinvest, taking small amounts of profit to make yourself comfortable with holding a longer term. Does that make sense? So. Let me know what you think about this. I know this can be complex for a lot of people uh, just to sort of follow and exactly what you're going to do. But I think though the worst part about this would be tracking, right? Being able to track it for taxes to know exactly how much you're taking in profit. Because if this all happens within a year, you know that there's a lot that you have to track and how much you have gained. So hopefully Coinbase can keep up. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.